So we've had a reminder of traditional project management. We've looked at critical chain project management and agile project management. We, we started off by looking at the iron triangle of project management. And we suggested that actually sometimes there are other issues like environmental issues or sustainability issues or resource issues. And that maybe the iron triangle of project management has passed its sell-by date and that other models are more applicable. Project management is about managing uncertainty. And these different techniques of project management deal with that uncertainty in different ways. We've had a look at traditional project management that looks at quality first, then finds the cost and the time and deals with resources last. Agile project management will look at what the resources can produce in a given amount of time. Critical chain project management will look at the fact that multitasking is inefficient and that we won't have any set dates and that people will pad their durations. Look, some of the issues are common, whichever project management method you use. Things like leadership, teamwork, and moving a, a group into a team, communication, having clear objectives, senior management support, analyzing your stakeholders, having good meeting skills. These things are gonna be the same whichever method of project management you look at. During this module, I've given you a list of project management tools and techniques that are useful whichever project management technique you end up using. Writing good project specifications, creating work breakdown structures, still useful in agile and critical chain. Thinking about the leadership, the team working, the communication issues. Creating a responsibility matrix and a cost account. Doing a critical path analysis or a PERT analysis, using PERT as a way of dealing with uncertainty on projects. Creating Gantt charts, doing a resource analysis, uh, smoothing out your resources. Identifying, assessing, and controlling risk how you can monitor and track progress on projects and project reviews. All of these tools useful on agile and critical chain project management. Um, some issues are different between the various techniques. You're gonna need some specialist software to run critical chain project management. Uh, the focus on traditional is on quality. The focus on agile is on time. Um, we're accepting here that the resources are the real issue on the project, and that's a good argument against the traditional approach. But it's the honesty of team members, of understanding that when they give you an estimate, you can believe them because it's an honest, accurate estimate. And that's the situation we should be in. And as I mentioned, I have this real problem with critical chain, who will take that honest, accurate estimate and they'll take 50% of the duration away and put it into a buffer. Agile and critical chain project management both throw away the dates. They both uh, throw away multitasking, so people are gonna be dedicated on their tasks. They don't allow multiple projects. So they've got this efficiency of working. So no inefficiencies because we're switching tasks or switching projects. Critical chain and agile frequent reporting of results. At the showcases for the Agile, and reporting how much of the feeding buffer we're used for the critical chain. So, project management is about meeting the time, cost, and quality requirements. Traditional project management looks at quality first, and then the time, the cost, and the resources. Agile, critical chain, looks at the time issue first, what can we achieve in that given time? Whichever method you use, it's about managing uncertainty. Uncertainty in your project durations, the project methods, uncertainty in the project resources, uh, uncertainty in the tasks as well. And different project management methods deal with that uncertainty in different ways. Whichever project management method you employ, I think a key message is that projects are delivered by people. Plans help, methodologies help, but you need the people working as a team and in agreement with your project plans, otherwise you're not going to achieve anything.